How's it going guys? It's Rujinki here again with another fun FRP bypass video and this one is on uh, latest security patch so let me just go ahead and show you what we're going to be working with. This is going to be on, um, what is this, this be like March or April um, 2022 security patch. So you saw it was FRP locked. We are connected to Wi-Fi. These are always requirements when you're doing FRP bypasses. Okay, um, so next thing we're going to do is from here is we're going to turn on our like talkback features. So we're going to hold down volume up and, and power. Press both side and, and then we're going to, to do it one more time. Talk back on. Okay, so we come in here, you can close. we close out the tutorial, we allow hit allow. Samsung setup wizard. And now we're in talk back, Welcome. okay? So we're gonna do a over up motion. Allow and we're talk. gonna say, yep, use that one. Use voice, yep. use voice. Google Assistant. Preparing to Bixby voice. And we're gonna do the same, turn Bixby. it back off. Navig talk back off. Okay. So volume up and power, just, just a quick press together, turns it on and off, okay? So from here, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go into My Capsules. We're gonna scroll down until we see um, the Galaxy uh, Store, right there, Galaxy Store. Download music apps, and this is gonna go ahead and try to access the store. So we're gonna say continue and we're in the Galaxy Store. Sometimes you might get an update, it really does vary, okay? So from here, um, let's go back in there really quick. Um, what we're gonna do is close that guy out and we're gonna type in um, circle. You could do different ways to circle launcher. I feel like just works real easily. So we're gonna go ahead and launch circle launcher. And here you have to sign into your Samsung account. So I'm gonna add mine. Okay, my account has now been added to the device and we're gonna say allow and download and it's gonna go ahead and download the Circle Launcher. So now we're going to hit launch, say OK, OK, and now we can get into the device. OK, so we've got this little launcher here. All right, so I'm going to go into settings and I'm just going to show you guys um, what exactly security patch we're on. So here you go. That's that system. We want that. We want right here. March 1st, 2022. OK, um, this should work on older stuff. This should work on a lot of the newer stuff. Hopefully we'll see if it gets patched, but right now it does function. So what we're going to do to do this is, is we're going to do um, some backups. So another prerequisite of this is to have a backup of the Samsung account we just added with some files on it. And you've seen this in previous videos, so you can reference that. But basically, it's going to have this um, Alliance file on it. All right. So what we need to do on your other Samsung device that has the same exact cloud account is go into the Play Store and install Alliance Shield app, okay? This is a Knox application um, that gives you um, basically MDM on the device or Knox privileges, okay? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna install it on this device and then we're gonna go into settings and we're gonna come over here to accounts and backup and restore and we're going to create a backup, okay? And you wanna have a backup that has that application on it, all right? So if you look at my restore data, you can see that I've already created one of these. And right there's the application, okay? So I can, I can now restore that application to our other device, yeah. So the other thing you're gonna wanna do on this device is go ahead and create your free account on Alliance Shield. Just put in an email, password, set it up, verify it, all that kind of stuff because you're gonna need that when you log in here. And you'll see that as we go through this video, okay? But the key is, is we used to be able to do this by coming in here to backup, hitting restore. Here you can see I have a backup right here on my Samsung account. And if you tap it, it does this, update Samsung Cloud. The problem is if you update Samsung Cloud here, you, you can't ever restore an, um, a backup. It won't let you, it fails because it knows the device is FRP locked. Good security, but we wanna get around that. So this is what we're gonna show you. So to get around that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here to Accessibilities, um, inter Interactive Dexterity, okay? Universal Switch, next, 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 not done. Turn on Universal Switch. 
turn on. Click this guy, tap tap accessibility button. That adds the accessibility button down there at the bottom. Okay. Now that we have the accessibility button, we're gonna do the bypass. So we're gonna come in here to accounts and we're gonna click this guy. Okay, now here's the trick. You gotta tap the backup you wanna restore and tap the accessibility button at the same time. Okay, let's see if we can do it. Messed it up. This takes multiple times, so. Okay, messed it up. It's tricky, but you can do it. I'm gonna have to do it without outside of this uh, case. Let me see if I can do it here. Nope. There, I think I got it. Let's try it. Cancel. Okay, so did you catch it? It's, it's, like I said, this is a tough thing to do, but if you time it just right, you will not have that. Oh. So we are going to do a restart, but we're going to go in here and look at it because we really want to. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Okay, so that's another thing to note. See that? When I tried to go into the settings, it wouldn't let me do it. So I'm going to have to get past it one more time. Okay, here we go. So you can't choose your items. So whatever your backup is, I would make sure when you back it up, it's a small backup. I, mine is obviously really big here. Um, so, you know, just be aware of that because you can't then choose what apps you want to restore. But the app we want to restore, I'm going to show you here in the next in the next little bit. So we're going to go ahead and um, click restore, say install. And now it's going to let us do the restore. So basically what we're doing is we're finding a way to force clash or force crash that update pop-up by having something else to load at the exact same time another pop-up you, you basically override its priority and you say well we're going to do this one instead and then and then it just lets you go to the next screen and doesn't require you to go back so that's the beauty of doing this um it's pretty tricky you know to get around it you just have to keep pushing it until you get it but it will eventually go and then you'll be able to do this restore and, and that's really what has changed in this security patch from previous methods is being able to do this, okay? Um, from here, you know, the process is gonna be is just get that application going and um, we're gonna enable Knox and go through that process and then get FRP removed off the device. So um, let's let this restore finish up. Okay, here we go. We are done, so we can just hit done. Um, we can say later and then we can back out of this because we have officially done what we need to. And now in Circle Launcher, as you've backed out, we should be able to rotate around. And there it is, Alliance Shield X. That's what we're gonna to use to enable Knox and then allow us to do way more things on the device. So let's go ahead and launch it. And there it is, let's go through this process. So here, we're gonna install the application now on this device. So like I said, we can't install devices from unknown sources, we can't use um, smart switch to install applications, but we can use Samsung Cloud to do it. So we're going to hit next, 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 got it. And actually, let me actually go back a second because I feel like I missed something. Oh no, it didn't do it. Okay, it's fine. So I'm going to sign into my account that I've previously created. Okay, so here you go. I'm signed in. So now you can name it. You don't have to. I'm not going to name it. You're going to turn on administrative privileges. So now that the, this application is an administer, this is very important. You're going to turn on Knox. See, this is Knox. This is basically MDM security. So we're going to say yes. It's going to tell you that the license is validated and we're good. So then I'm going to hit next and I'm going to hit finish. All right. So now the magic. Okay. So from here, we're going to go to app manager, close it. We're gonna to go to search, and we're gonna search for service mode. Click that guy, go to activities, scroll all the way down, and right here, this one. So, com, sec, Android, app, modem, UI, activities, USB settings, open. Yes, now you see it, now you see it. We're gonna turn on ADB. 
So we're going to turn on ADB. And just to double check it, we'll do it one more time. I feel like it should like check or toggle or something, but as soon as you check it, it should do it. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So we should have ADB turned on on this device, okay? Um, which is pretty stinking awesome. So we're going to leave the device like this, and we're going to connect it up to my computer, and we're going to run a really, really simple batch script that I've created, um, and it'll be linked below this video, so you can run it right from your ADB Fastboot folder. And let's go to my computer, and we'll do this. And go into our Android um, SDK here. And actually on the device, it's already given me a pop-up for ADB, which is awesome. Always allow. Hit OK. You can cancel this thing. And we're still on the screen. So I'm going to go into Platform Tools here. Bring this over so you guys can see it. Platform Tools. And here's where you're going to place this um, little bypass application. So if you're not familiar with this, I mean, you can easily go take a look at it, right? This is what it does. It basically completes the setup and tells it that it's not FRP locked and it reboots the device, okay? It's really simple. Look at it yourself if you're interested. It's pretty cool. Okay, so basically all we gotta do is go ahead and run this. And the device turned off, but it's fine. It's just the screen went blank. So we're gonna run it. And this takes just seconds. It's very, very simple. And what you're gonna see is you're gonna see the device go ahead and do a reboot. And as soon as it reboots, you're done on the computer. We can go back to the device. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and unplug the cable and watch this sucker reboot. All right. Um, and I do recommend unplugging the cable here. Um, and it's gonna do some weird stuff, okay? <laughs> So um, be prepared for that. It's basically freaking out here. So we're just going to swipe up. And it, it's freaking because it's, it's, it's like, you need to unlock this thing. You need to do something. This isn't right. Okay, there you go. Okay, see? We just kept swiping up, swiping up, and kind of hitting back. And eventually it just freaks out to the home screen. It basically crashes the setup wizard. Because the setup wizard says there's still some security problems, but we just crashed past it. <laughs> so... Um, it's actually kind of cool, to be honest with you. Um, and you can see it says it's locked there and whatever, so that's that's fine. So from here, we can just go ahead and come in here into settings. We can go back to general. We can do a reset. We can do a factory reset. And we can remove these accounts. And I'm going to go ahead and put my password in, and we'll FRP um, finish this FRP bypass here. Okay. Go ahead and let it do the factory reset from settings here. Um, that is the process. That's all you've got to do to get this thing functional. Um, cause now I factory set from settings, all the securities removed, the devices back to factory and it shouldn't have any problems, um, setting up just like a normal device that has no FRP lock on it. All right. So there you go. That's the process. Again, we use that Samsung tool to bring the pop up. We escalate into the Galaxy Play Store. We inst we do the backup stuff through Samsung Cloud to get our um, Knox program on there. We launch our little activity to bring up the um, ADB, and then we use an ADB command to remove FRP. So that's the same ADB command we've been using to remove FRP for, oh man, like four years maybe, something like that. It's been quite a while and pretty awesome that it still works um, but you have to have ADB and ADB has always been locked so it's just fun that we were able to turn ADB back on and get it all done so I'm just gonna let you see um, once this thing boots up that we are no longer FRP locked and we'll just go through a real basic um, you know view of the setup here we go Android is starting or starting Android whatever same difference so the first thing you're going to notice differently that already tells me we're not FRP locked is it says accessibility down there. That's that's like a first sign on these devices. But um, the second sign is going to be you're not going to get a pop-up right here saying this device is, is you know factory set protection saved. So I'm going to log into Wi-Fi. So there you go. I'm connecting to the Wi-Fi. We're going to hit next. And then obviously the next thing you're going to see is it says log into any Google account you want. And as long as you got that, you are golden. 
and this process is done. Hey guys, if you um, like this, or you think it's interesting, or you want to make a comment, I mean, definitely comment down below. Don't forget, we do have a um, member submitted FRP uh, lock um, course or lesson where you can submit things in the comments there, and we can talk to each other and share different tips and tricks that we've learned. Um, I'm going to put that below this video as well. So if you want to put something there, or you find something on the internet you think is interesting, you know, comment there, share it. You know, probably make a video on it for you, and um, we can add it to the course. But here you go. That's it. We are obviously FRP bypass because I can skip the Google account verification stuff here and just get right into the device. So that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more videos here at Phone Lab, and we will catch you in that one. Root Chunky out.